Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello family, how are you all doing? Thank you again for tuning in for another quick and exciting recipe. This is inspired by the Senegalese Yasa and also the Ivorian and Inzima people of Ghana. They are a cheque. Yes. Okay, so what am I doing? I've got my chicken legs. As you can tell, I did drizzle a little bit of olive oil and I'm grating the zest of the lemon, which is so aromatic all over it. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And of course, the zest is going to leave its oils all over that chicken. My favorite ingredient, onions. Yes, oodles and oodles amounts of onions. And then I'm sprinkling with a little bit of my thyme. Yes, I did see that little onion that fell earlier, but I'm just pretending it didn't happen. Anyway, moving on swiftly as one does. I'm just milling my fresh black peppercorns all over my chicken. Now, this requires oodles and oodles amount of black peppercorns because it does make the dish. Now, if you do like what you see so far, please don't forget to smash that like button whilst you're here. Anyway, so now we need to get rid of vampires. Yes, we just definitely do not want them around us. Hence the copious amount of sliced fresh garlic. Yes. Now, the next thing I need to do is add my slices of lemon and I only used half the lemon. And this is where, you know, it becomes challenging because really and truly I should have used a bigger bowl. But you see, the thing was, this was my lunch and I was looking for a quick lunch to make. And then the camera was there, so I was like, let me film this. And I was determined, you know, to cook these three chicken legs in this bowl. Nothing was going to stop me. So if I had to be a little bit patient, then so be it. But of course, I mean, if you're going to be trying it, you can get your bigger bowl. You're not going to go through this wahala as I tend to go through sometimes. Yeah, anyway, so that's done. And at this point, my oven is preheated to 180 degrees whilst I tackle my plantain or plantain. Mm, plantain. <laughs> Now, this is getting exciting because I'll tell you something. Right at this point, I was starving. <laughs> so quickly added my salt and then drizzled with a little bit of olive oil. I did not even wait to marinate this, which is something I usually tend to do. But of course, you know, this is why you do not cook when you're hungry. But, you know, I did not take that advice. Obviously, if I did, then I would be in this predicament. But I'll tell you something, it was equally good. So yeah, you marinated though for that extra hour. That would make a big difference though. But it still worked. Anyway, so I've added my salt and as you can tell, I'm gently massaging all those flavors into each leg and into each plantain. Plantain. Plantain! Kermes on the ground. Nyakenyeya. Ablajo. Amada, Bordier, eh, that is it. We're moving, we're moving. Anyway, so yes, I'm just going to place this in the oven at 180 degrees, as I said. And this is just going to bake beautifully. Now, after about 30 minutes, this is what you end up with. The skin was lovely and crispy. It was just beautiful. Look at that. And then um, I had some fresh fennel leaves in the garden, so I plucked a few. And um, yeah, just sprinkled a little bit as one does all over it. Do you like what you see? Are you definitely inspired to try it? It's such an easy one pot dish. Yes. And you know, I managed to get three legs into that little bowl there. Determined, yes, I was. But you don't need to go through that wahala. Honestly, you don't. Our fennel is almost like the aniseed. Yes. And that's just going to add that flavor to it, that licorice flavor, which I so love. So if you do not have the fresh fennel, yeah, just try some um, aniseed. 
So, inspired by the Ivorian and Enzima Acheke, which is made out of fermented grated cassava that is steamed, I'd say it's aptly described as a cassava couscous. Yes, I'm using Gary Foto. Yes, absolutely. So, we're getting that sort of similar flavor here. So, the whole chicken has got that lemony flavor coming through, which, yes, has that distinctive flavor. And the Gary Foto has that sort of fermented cassava flavor as well going through. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've got the Acheke Yasa or Yasa Cheke. How should we call it? <laughs> And this is such an easy dish to make. Now, in terms of the Gary Photo, I have covered that recipe. I'd leave a link in the description box. Yeah, so you can grab yourself some. And also, I'll leave a link in the description box for where you can purchase your clay pot if you're interested in the clay pot. And yeah, no, for DN, put that plantain back and eat the Gary Photo with the chicken first. I told you I was hungry. So yes, chop time, no friend. Equally, you can serve this roast chicken as well with my baked jollof rice recipe that I did. I'll leave a link in the top as I mentioned before. Now, there are a plethora of recipes that are so inspiring where I have fused cultures and, you know, ingredients just to make incredible recipes. For example, like this all onion stew is a must try. And also, if you're used to or you know the classic aboboy and tatale i've made that into an akara the guinean wagashi which is the only cheese i've cooked it with some spinach and made a beautiful stew as well inspired by the guinean kelewele yes is the sweet plantain muffin which is of course also gluten-free pinkaso is almost like the onion baji is an incredible snack that you need to try and then of course i also made my tuna pasta my signature tuna pasta and also my signature egg stew recipe so when we're talking about recipes it seems i have covered a lot and if you need something to drink you can be adventurous and try the asana recipe Naturally, I add the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilberts.com. You will find more exciting recipes and traditional African recipes on my other blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa. So pass by and say hi. Noral, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be your gorgeous self. And never, ever forget this. I love you for you. Sing. Please don't forget to like the video. Leave your comments if you do like what you see. Yes. And when you do try the recipe, I'd love to hear your feedback as well. And please do share with your family and friends. Until my next recipe, I love you for you. Sing. Thank you very much for watching.